came down 60 miles an hour. And uh, constant pop, 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 boom. The, the smoke of the debris came down Wall Street in a slow motion as people were running scared and disoriented. I'm Dwayne Jackson. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran from the Vietnam era, and I also happen to be a street vendor in Times Square, New York, and have been for the last 13 years. The first incident in the World Trade Center, the garage bombing of 1993, I was actually on Wall Street that day, September 2001. I was seven blocks from the Trade Center at the time of the attack. Here it is 10 years later, I can still remember that plane turning sideways, banking toward the World Trade Center, and the eerie sound of the engines and the gears grinding uh, as it passed overhead. I didn't panic, not so much that I had all the answers to anything, but I think one of the things with my Navy training was contingencies, and you train for emergencies to be able to do it in the dark aboard ship. I had been vending there for seven years and it hit home in, in a big way. In this particular occasion, uh, there was the bringing together of people, of uh, patriotism, blue collar, white collar, black, white, Latino, Asian. Uh, there was also uh, the new heightened awareness of being aware of your surroundings. Because anything can happen, uh, hence May 1st is a classic example of that. Breaking news, a Times Square shut down for hours after the makings of a bomb are discovered. I saw the propane tanks and the gasoline. What if that would have been nice? You may know him as the man who saved okay. Times Square, maybe even the man who saved New York. He's the astute New Yorker who, on the evening of May 1st, alerted police to the suspicious abandoned car containing a bomb. This SUV drove through Times Square on a night such as this, or an evening such as this, it was very crowded, and here was this guy uh, willing to kill innocent men and women from all over the world. And had that explosion gone off, uh, I certainly wouldn't be here today to, uh, to talk about it. We're still here, we're still holding on in Times Square, and uh, people are out here having a great time. People come from all over the world to live in the city, and no matter where you're from, you, you get to New York and you put on your New York City armor. A lot of people think New York is this impassionate uh, beast of a city that no one knows anyone, and there's not a sense of community, where that's just the opposite uh, you know, of what the realities are. But I felt the, the need to come back to, uh, to open up for business and, and, and that speaks to the tenacity, I think, uh, of New Yorkers in general. There was a sense of uh, togetherness, a sense of we're going to come back and we're going to come back even stronger. <laughs>